Hello and welcome to Train Symphiatic. If you watched last week or the week before video, you recognise this model. Actually, you won't recognise this one from last week, you'll recognise uh, this one from last week. But I'm going to focus on this one today. So, last week, I, I coated the windows with uh, the light blocking kit by Woodland Scene. What I'm going to do today isn't what I planned to do today. What I had planned to do today was add the lighting, but I have run out of one of the wires, so I need to order that, so hopefully that will be next week. What I'm doing this week is playing with this kit. Again, it's a Woodland Scene just plug lighting system product. It's a window diffusing film. Um, you can actually see uh, the problem I now have with the building is that uh, you can tell which windows have been painted and which ones haven't. So it does look a bit odd. I know these will be lit at times, but even when they're lit, I don't want them to be see through. So the idea of this product is you line the back of the window and when the lights are off it's uh, tinted, when the lights are on you can't see through it. So I'll do the unboxing and show you what I do on this product. So what do we get in this box? It looked like not that much but you actually got three products here you have a, a light prod light for blackening film you have a diffusion film and then you have the sticky spots and you also have instructions so I'll read the instructions and tell you what everything's called I've just read for instructions. This layer is being called for uh, tinting film. And this layer is called for diffusion film. You have got several different ways you can apply this material. First one which I'll be doing on this one here is cut long strip and then just push it into position. And what I'll be doing on these windows here is actually cutting strips for the correct size and then uh, attaching it. So I'll go and get some cutting things and show you how I do it. I've finished putting the uh, light diffusion cell in the windows and as you can see it lights up very nicely. Uh, one little trick I've learnt is this. Cut yourself a template and then place it on top so that you know what you're cutting. As you can't really easily mark for uh, tinting film because of its coloration so by doing this you just hold it in place 
and then use your ruler to cut it. How do I sum this up? I wish I found this product a long time ago as it does make a real difference to the look of the buildings. Uh, make sure to read the instructions and even watch the instructional video on uh, the Batman, uh, web, Batman uh, YouTube page. I'll be using this in future on a lot of my buildings. Anything I build in future, if I'm not wanted to be showing what's in for them, I'll be using it in one of its two forms. You do get a lot of rubbish from it. You got the paper from the backing of the um, dots. You got the clear plastic from the dots. But that's just something you need to live with. So it's a very good product. I'm keeping all my little offcuts as they'll come in handy for other projects. Um, it's a really nice little product. It's just a part of the Batman, I don't mean Batman, I mean for Woodland Scene, just plug lighting system. Uh, really good products. At some point in the future, I will, I will be trying for main just plug lighting system. But at the moment, I'm not using it because I don't feel you have the control over individual on and, for, on and off as you do with for products I'm currently using, but they do bring, if I have brought out some really nice little lights and stuff, I want to try in other parts of the layout. So, make sure to like the video, uh, comment, tell your friends, and share. And at the end of this video, there will be a link to last week's video and a link to the week before video. I hope you have a good week modelling this week. I hope the weather isn't too hot or too cold, depending on where you are. And just make sure to like, subscribe and comment, and I'll see you next week. Hopefully I'll get for parts, if not I've got something else in mind. So see you next week. Thank you very much, Richard.